This is Mick for Get Your Rock Out with Santa Cruz. How you guys Hello. doing? Hello. Good. How good? Hey, so you got your new album this year? Yeah. Self-titled? Just last week. Yeah. Really. Just last week, was it? Yeah. yeah, it's the second week that it's out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, it, what's it like? I, I've not actually had a time to listen to it yet. What's it like? Well, it's fucking kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, something modern and fresh in rock and roll. Oh, and so. compared to the first album, Screaming for Adrenaline, it's way heavier yeah. than... And even, on the other hand, also more melodic than the Screaming for Adrenaline was. Cool, cool. Um, so, and now you've got, had it out with this tour with uh, Amaranth, yeah. um, and also Europe and America as well, you're going to yeah. be doing as well. What's it like just being on the road again, just doing this? It's great. It's actually the longest tour we've done, is this tour now. Yeah. But the Amaranth guys are pretty... Nice and uh, Engel guys also, so it's yeah. and it's the first it's like proper tour that we're doing with a tour bus and not with a with a van. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a difference. So what was the uh, mindset going for this new album? Is it just to make it louder? Yeah, and I think we uh, uh, tried to make something new and something fresh because we were, we didn't want to be like the same throwback band that every band nowadays is yeah I mean, it's, beca- it's, beca- it's becoming like yeah. such a thing they're yeah. like all the guys are playing like the same hits all over and over again so, you know we're trying to create something new and something interesting for the people it's kind of a burden to get locked in that yeah. retro thing yeah because why why should I listen to the new stuff when you're just yeah. reminding me of yeah. the old stuff yeah I don't like that at all but I mean it's nice to have being a throwback band I suppose it just makes it, it makes a lot of stuff easy yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Steel Panther does it pretty good by that. Yeah, let's leave it to them. Yeah, let's leave it to them. <laughs> Would you like to go on the road with Steel Panther? Well, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, but no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, that's a sh- that's a shame. <laughs> um, so, where did your um, r- journey to music start? So, uh, how did you begin? Well, I started playing piano when I was six years old. And then it turned to be a guitar when I was 10 years old. And then we formed the band with Archie in 2007, eight years ago. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I had the guitar for a Christmas present, but I sucked at it. I played in a punk band, but it didn't like <laughs> pay out very well. So I started to play bass. Actually, uh, I called Johnny here that, hey man, could I come and play bass in your band? And he was like, what the fuck, you ain't playing bass. Yeah, he was, the, he was like, a singer. Of yeah, I was like a lead singer, a bad one. <laughs> really fucking bad one. Just a bad at everything, really. Yeah, I, I'm bad at everything but playing bass. But, <laughs> but good enough to play bass that I got into his band, so that's cool. Um, so I was going to be going around Europe. And yeah. it's, uh, so uh, what's your, what, what do you feel is the main difference between playing Europe playing here in the UK? Uh, from what you've done? Well, we've done just like a couple of dates in Germany before we came here to UK. Mm-hmm. And we've been here before, like we have done two uh, two week tours here. Yeah, and we've done, we did last November, we played a festival, then we played Norwich, and we played a headline show in London, which was actually sold out. Yeah. It was pretty cool. So this is like feast time over here for us. Yeah, so it's like a hard comparison against places like Belgium that we played like one show in there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the audience here is great. Like yeah. last night we played... I don't know why everybody talks like that the English audience or UK audience is like hard to get. Yeah. Because I think yeah. they're like... I think they're like yeah. really honest fans that really follow you. There's like... I heard these stories of guys driving like five hours to our shows. Yeah. I wouldn't complain if, <laughs> if I heard that kind of stuff. So I don't get the bad mouthing of the UK audiences. I've never heard bad mouthing of the UK audiences. <laughs> this yeah, but you're from the UK, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all around the all around the Europe, they say that it, it's the hardest place <laughs> to get successful. You know. Well, I just had a word with Jake, and he's like, "Yeah, here you're a janitor." <laughs> Which. It's fair, I suppose. Um, um, so, what was the method? What's your method when you go into a song, right? When you do? Well, usually it starts with the riff or like a chorus or something, and then me and Archie, or both of us, make a like a demo of the song, and then we come to the rehearsal place and rehearse it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And if Any some part yeah. sucks, then we're gonna change it and then we go to the studio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, the self-titled album is all made by ourselves. Really? I I actually recorded it, the whole album. Uh, we did the drums in a huge studio in Hel- back in Helsinki, and then we went to a couple of secret locations to record the bass and guitars, yeah. and then with vocals in this. Uh, a small studio in Helsinki, and yeah. I al- also mixed the whole record. So, yeah. only thing actually done by some other than ourselves on the album is the mastering. Yeah, yeah. It was made by Ted Jensen in what was the studio again? Sterling, Sterling Sound. Sterling Sound, New York. York, New York. But like the artwork and stuff like that is made by us. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's funny when people come to like. It sounds like you have some producers in the studio when you did this. I was like, uh, no. Yeah, no one can complain about that. <laughs> yeah. It's not sounding out. Uh, if it sounds like that, we're impressed, you know. <laughs> we're we're pretty, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, <laughs> Just losing myself. I will edit this out, don't worry. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, so, do, have you ever been to gigs as just fans and... Yeah, of course we have. Of course. Yeah, Jake never asked. <laughs> he's oh. like, no, I don't think I was a fan. <laughs> no, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what would be your favorite? What would be your most memorable show you've ever gone to see? I think the first show I ever show, saw in uh, this huge festival in Finland called Wolf Rock. I saw Children of Bodom playing there. Uh, it was the first show what I saw live, and nine years after, at the same day, at the same time, we played that stage. Yeah. Yeah, I think the first shows are the one that makes the most influence to you. Like, you're a small kid, like 10 year old or stuff, and you go to see a fucking big ass band. Like, I went to see Black Sabbath, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you know, these days you go to the shows and like, yeah, the snare sound isn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> you're just picking everything. Yeah, so... That's good. Uh, so, on the flip side, what's your favorite band you've toured with, say, while you've been on tour with them? I think it's Skid Row and Buck Cherry. Yeah. Oh, that's a fair. That's yeah. that's a fair comment. <laughs> we played last summer a few shows with those yeah, guys in Germany. in Germany and Belgium, and it was pretty fun. They're really nice guys. Yeah, it's it's fun to like hang out with your idols, you know, kind yeah. of way. And then they asked us to come on stage, and we did Youth Gone Wild with them and stuff like that. So it was insane. <laughs> Germany fun for gigs because I've never been personally. Well, is Germany fun for gigs because I've never yeah, been personally. Yeah, Germany is great. Yeah, I've never been personally. So you should. I should, mm-hmm. I should. I should. I should. I should get. I used to get used to more years have my passport. <laughs> Barely do. <laughs> um, I'll. I, I just kind of like ending on this question. Yeah. Because what's the hardest thing professionally you've ever had to overcome, and what? How did you overcome it? The hardest. This is tough. <laughs> yeah, can we say that this this question here? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, a bit hardest. The hardest part, part to get like professional music, which is that's what you mean. Yeah. It's probably the you have to leave so many old friends behind because you don't have yeah. the time to see those guys anymore. Yeah. I yeah. think it's that. Yeah. The, the, the lack of time like, for your friends. Yeah, like your know, relationships. relationships. Yeah. Awesome. That's the hardest part. Now we're here like a month, then we're back home for a few weeks and we're doing shows, and then we're going to US, and then I, like you don't have the time to see yeah. your friends anymore. Yeah. That much, which is a shame. That's, that's actually a really beautiful sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic.